God, what a terrible day. Um, yes, it's me. Oh, Lord, I'm tired. What do they want from me? Trembling, I'm so tired. Come over here, baby. <laughs> just about time for you to have some nice young man. <laughs> and I met one today. Who would you meet? A waiter? No. I went out and met a handsome young boy from home. Well, if you like him, he's probably black. Yes, he is. Well, what is he doing in Sweden? He deserted from the army. Oh, my God. Yes, that's just what I need. Somebody who has more trouble than I have. Oh, now, nah, don't be so quick to put the bad mouth on everybody. Now, nah, you all may be able to help each other. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, Why do they want to make me superhuman? Why can't I be just plain Georgia, just myself? I have needs. Maybe they don't have the same ones. That's what they want to make me into. Oh, even in my home, I'm going to let it shine. Even in my home, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine. Let's meet at the bench, noon tomorrow, okay? Faith, that's what brought us thus far. And that's what will take us safely home. All right, ma'am. Tomorrow. Who was it? Your beau. He just can't wait to see you. <laughs> Alberta Anderson. Lady Procura. Now that's big time. <laughs> Why don't you use the order you use in Geneva? It had him on their feet. Why don't you close with the blues? These Swedes will think it's exotic. A blues? A blues? Why don't I just blacken my face and open with Mammy? I'm working. You know it makes me nervous when you piddle around. Can't you find...
find something else to do. I'm taking care of my business. The valet picked up my dresses? I do what I have to. You ought to know that. Mrs. A, would you be kind enough to order us a pot of tea? Black women have never been known to turn their backs on their responsibility. Not in history. With milk, please. Tea, 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 two pots of tea. If you can find the time from your other work. Drives me crazy with that handkerchief head. Jazz. Luscious. Why do you keep her on? To remind me of what I escaped. Have you ever been here before? Would you like another beer? Shouldn't we go now? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. You're not angry? No. Don't mind me touching you, do you? No, I counted on it. Where do you live? I told you, with my parents. Ah. I thought you said we might go to your place. Where do your parents live? Call call them. Chapman's got the number three. Chapman's got the three? Yes. Uh, Chapman's got the three? No. Nope. So come here. Huh? Text him again. Uh, I'm sorry. I tell you a story? Once upon a time, there was a woman. Now, once upon a time, there was a lady. A lady who took out a heart beating and gave it to the world. No one appreciated her gifts. They gave her nothing in exchange. Well, then why did she do it? She did it because... She did it because they forced her to do it. No, no, that's not true. She did it because she was one of the big people. They hated her for her generosity. She was surrounded by enemies. The only people she could rely on were misfits and mammies. Did I remember to tell you that uh, if she was black, well, her father and mother were black, and black people tried to claim her pain. She was a little girl who loved East. That's a lie. She ate it because she was hungry. I remember a time 
and sugarcane looked like tall, friendly corn. She walked the rows, smiling at the cane. That evening, my hands, her hands, my sugarcane was like sharp swords, and my hands were bleeding. walked the rows again, and the leaves reached out, trying to grab her. She was very clever. She made herself very small, and they couldn't touch her. Never touch her again. Don't touch. That lady. She became one of the big ones. That's your story. You feeling better? Well, then you're a fool! <laughs> 